My cat seems fine. Could there be a problem? Although cats are predators, in nature larger predators will prey upon them. Since sick or old animals make an easy target, any obvious sign of illness will alert other predators that the animal is ill. Therefore, cats have evolved to hide signs of illness and pain. This means that in early stage of illness, often the only thing that a cat owner may notice is that the cat has become quiet and withdrawn. Unfortunately, this also means a cat may be very sick before the owner realizes something is wrong. Through training and experience, veterinarian may pick subtle signs that the cat is developing a health problem, which is one of the main reasons why the American Veterinary Medical Association and other veterinary experts recommend two ICR early wellness examination for average adult cats. Delaying your cat's veterinary visit until there are obvious signs of illness may mean the heroic measures will be required to treat the problem. With some understanding of how cats show symptoms of illness, you will be able to recognize early warning signs and know what information you need to provide your veterinarian. What things should I look for? Cats that are ill will usually show changes in overall appearance, energy level, sociability, coat appearance, and or amount of shedding, appetite, litter box usage, breathing, or discharges from the eye or nose. In general, any sudden change should alert you that your cat needs veterinary attention. What changes would I see in overall appearance? Cats that are not feeling well may just look a little off. The cat might sit in a hunched position, might not move as gracefully as before, may not lift its head properly, might have a head tilt, or might carry its tail in a different way than normal. Sometimes there is not any one thing that stands out, but instead a variety of subtle changes. Dehydration is a common problem in cats that are not well. To see if your cat is dehydrated, gently grasp her skin near her shoulder blades, pull it up and away from her body, then let go. The skin should snap back into place right away. The skin that does not snap back into place but says tended up usually indicates dehydration, a condition that needs to be treated right away. Cats that have some sort of chronic illness may develop slow and subtle weight loss that is only obvious when you actually run your hands along that ribs and spine. Cats that suddenly lose weight, particularly if they were previously overweight, are usually suffering from some sort of metabolic disease, such as diabetes and hyperthyroidism. What changes in sociability or energy level would indicate that my cat might be sick? See, cats usually become withdrawn and may hide. Although this does depend on the personality of the individual cat. Some cats become more clingy or demanding of attention, while others just become cranky. As a general rule, cats that are sick will have lower energy level. The only thing you may notice is that your cat sleeps more, does not play as much, or is restless. With some diseases, especially hypothyroidism, your cat's energy level may actually seem to increase to the point of hyperactivity. Cats with hypothyroidism often are restless at night and may suddenly begin howling or waking family members up. Cats with arthritis or other joint problems may have difficulty moving around and may no longer jumping on furniture or counters, or may change the way they jump onto higher surfaces. If your cat suddenly is unable to use its back legs, she should be seen by your veterinarian immediately. What changes would I see in coat appearance and amount of shedding? Cats that are not feeling well do not tend to groom themselves very well. Therefore, you will usually see a messy or greasy coat, mats of fur, or clumps of loose hair. In some cases, you will see a difference in the coat's shine or an increased amount of dandruff. Cats that are grooming themselves excessively may also have a problem. Excessive grooming may be a reaction to a skin problem such as allergies, a parasite such as fleas, mites, or ringworm. 
pain such as that from arthritis or a bladder problem are a response to stress. These cats might over groom on all parts of their body, or they may lick themselves in one area so much that they develop bald spots and their skin beneath may be red and raw or may have a rush. What changes should I look for in appetite or thirst? Since sick cats may eat less or eat more, or may have more or less thirst than usual, any change in appetite or thirst may be of concern. Cats with dental disease may seem to be a picky about their food. Cats that have some metabolic disease such as hypothyroidism or diabetes mellitus may have a hearty appetite and increased thirst. Cats with liver or kidney problems often lose their appetite, but usually have increased thirst. I wish you all the best and now up to another video, peace out!